everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will talk about preparing project dashboards using Microsoft Project. Besides preparing the project schedule and tracking the project schedule, we can prepare various types of project dashboards using Microsoft Project. This is a real-time dashboard which is taken from our project schedule. We have the step-by-step -step videos of Microsoft Project in the Microsoft Project playlist of this YouTube channel. If you are interested, you can go and watch those videos for your information. In today's video, we will specifically discuss on how to prepare a project dashboard using Microsoft Project. As you can see in the dashboard here, we have the overall project percentage completed, the critical tasks, the cash flow diagram for the project, the cost distribution for the activities which are completed, the activities which are late, and the future tasks. Moreover, we have the resource work percentage completed. We have three people on our team, which are Alex, Steven, and Mohammed. What percentage have they achieved so far in the project? And lastly, we have the task burned down. How many hours of work do we have on this project? How did we plan to complete that work? And how we are actually going towards our goal? So let's get started and let me show you how to prepare a project dashboard using Microsoft Project. We have the project schedule, and besides that each activity, by what percentage is it completed, the resource names of all the activities, and the costs of all the activities. In order to prepare a project dashboard, we will go to Report. From here, we will click New Report and create a blank report. You can give your report a name. For example, I will, I will name it Project Dashboard and click OK. So it will direct you to this page. In this text box, you will give our project dashboard name, anything that you want it. We will leave it as it is. Now, there are various things that you can import to your project dashboard in here. I want to see some specific things. For example, I want to see the task burn down. I want to see the cost distribution. And besides that, I want to see, for example, the cash flow diagram. So to do that, we will go to report. For example, the first report that I'm going to have on my dashboard is the cash flow diagram. This report will be automatically generated. In previous videos, we have discussed in detail how to prepare a project cash flow diagram in Microsoft Project. I will copy this chart from here, Control C, and from here, from the recent, I will go to project dashboard, the dashboard that we newly created. I will paste it here. If you wanted to do some formatting, for example, change some colors and something, you can do it as we did in Microsoft Excel. For example, you want to change the color of these column bars in here. To do that, you will go to Format, and in the Shape Fill, you will select a different color. Same we can do for the cumulative cost. We will go to Shape Outline and select a different color. Next thing is to remove the borderline from this chart. We will double-click this one, and from here, we will select No Fill, and no line. We'll remove these lines as well. Next thing that I want to see in my project dashboard is the overall percentage completed of the project. So I'll go to report again. From here, I'll click the dashboard and I'll click the project overview. As you can see, the total percentage completed is given in here. I'll click this one and copy this from here. I'll again go to the project dashboard and paste it in here. We can change the size of the font as well. For example, let's make it 24 and make this a bit smaller. You can change the fill color as well. If you go to table tools, from here we will, in the shading, we will change the color to this color. Next thing is, for example, let's have the task burn down chart in here. For that, we'll go to report again. And in report, I will go to dashboard and select burn down. From here, I have two types of burn down, which we described in our previous videos. One is the task burn down, another is the work burn down. The total work hours that we have, and in here, the total number of activities that we have. I'll select the total work hours. I'll copy this and take it to our previous dashboard. In here, I'll paste it. Again, if you wanted to do some formatting, you can do it as we did for the previous one. Next thing is let's have the list of our critical activities. To do that, again, we will go to the report. And from here, we will go in progress and click the critical tasks. You can copy the table from here and take it to your previous dashboard, which was in recent project dashboard. I'll press Ctrl V in order to paste it in here. 
In here, for example, there are specific things you don't want to see. The only thing that we need in here is the name of the task, the start date, and the finish date. To do that, we'll right-click this one, and we will click Show Field List. From here, we will only leave the name, the start date, and the finish date. So I'll remove the resource name, and besides that, I'll come down here, I'll remove the remaining work, and that's it. Further formatting can be done to this as well. So this is how you create a project dashboard in Microsoft Project. If you found the content of the video informative, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video, and visit our Instagram and LinkedIn pages. Thank you very much for watching.